Hey brothers and sisters, today is Wednesday, December 15th, 2021. Grace and peace to you in Jesus' holy name. We are one day closer to our blessed hope of seeing Jesus face to face. Amen. Guys, I know many are facing some real challenges down here on our planet of exile. The enemy is using everything from relationships or finances or even our health to attack and discourage us. I know some of you are facing some tough situations and some cute little comment from me will probably not be very helpful. You are being tested in the fires of affliction and it's hot and it's uncomfortable and it's probably miserable too. But know this, you are not alone. Just like Jesus was in the fire with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he is there with you in your struggle. He will never leave you or forsake you there. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Guys, know that this testing can be reframed in your mind as an opportunity for growth, for deepening your faith, or dealing with other issues in your life that God wants you to surrender to his care. The following is from Streams in the Desert. An old village blacksmith once said, There is only one thing I fear, being thrown onto the scrap heap. You see, in order to strengthen a piece of steel, I must first temper it, I heat it, hammer it, and then quickly plunge it into a bucket of cold water. Very soon I know whether it will accept the tempering process or simply fall to pieces. If, after one or two tests, I see it will simply fall to pieces, I just throw it onto the scrap heap. If it's not going to allow itself to be tempered, I can't use it. I'll just sell it later to the junk man for a few cents per pound. I realize the Lord tests me in the same way, through fire, water, and heavy blows of his hammer. If I am unwilling to withstand the test or prove to be unfit for his tempering process, I'm afraid he may throw me onto the scrap heap. Now I'm going to assert, this is Angela here, I'm going to insert my own opinion on that. God will never give up on you no matter what. Sainthood finds its source in suffering. Remembering, Remember, it requires 11 tons of pressure on a piano strings for it to be tuned. And God will tune you to the perfect harmony with heaven's theme if you will withstand the strain. And then I picked this piece, this pretty little silver or something serving platter here, just to you know, show that when we go through the tempering process, we can turn into something really, really beautiful and useful at the same time. I want you to know that whatever God has allowed to attack you, he will limit its reach. And he will use it for his ultimate good purposes for you. Romans 8:28 says so. Lift up your voice and praise to him and break the chains the enemy has on you. What the enemy means for harm, God will use for good. Trust him in that. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift up my brothers and sisters to you. Please comfort them in any trials they're going through. Father, be with them in their trials. Lord, we thank you for the promise of your coming, and we look forward to it so eagerly. In your holy name I pray, amen. Love you guys. See you on the next one.